hi my lovely students how are you all i hope you all are doing well so today in this class we are going to solve the model question paper of previous year that is 2023 uh, the subject is environmental studies okay so let's start children so first one as you know that we'll have 1 to 20 mcq will be there okay you'll get four option with along with the question and you have to select and write down the the particular alphabet along with the answer okay so let's do it here the first one will read four alternatives are given for each of the following questions in complete statements choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with the correct option for the question number 1 to 20 that is choose the correct answer or mcq multiple choice questions okay so let us start from the first one a catch hold the water have the plants to grow roots of the plants hold me tightly who am i yes so i hold the water I'm having the capacity to hold the water, help the plants to grow in me. Then the roots of the plants, they tightly hold me. Who am I? I'm a minerals, soil, earthworm or the cow dung. Yes, so the soil is the right answer. So we'll write soil here. Okay, so B, this is how you have to write and whole answer you have to write here children like this. Okay, so the second one. The important crop of Tumkur district is, which is the important crop, the most important crop of Tumkur district, coffee, paddy, coconut or the ragi. So the right answer is ragi, D. So we will write here D, ragi. Okay, ragi. Next, third one. The correct statement about irrigated agriculture from below is so what do you mean by agriculture uh, sorry irrigated agriculture it should be related to which statement you have to find and you have to write okay first one if you see here rain based cultivation cultivation using pond well canal and river water dry land cultivation kuski cultivation so which is the right answer if you see here the irrigated agriculture is nothing but the cultivation using the pond well canal river and water so the b is the right answer for this so we'll write b here and whole sentence should be written here children okay cultivation using so yes like this you have to write children okay Yes. So next question here, the question number four, you can see the use of this agriculture equipment. We use many of the equipments for the agriculture purpose. Right? So which I mean, what is the use of this equipment? You have to find out plowing the land, harvesting the crop, labeling the land, sowing the seed, which is the right answer. Yes. So plowing the land. So this is called as a plow. So you have to write a that is plowing the Plowing the land. So, this is the right answer for this. Okay, now let's move to the fifth one. So, fifth is there here the irrigation method in which water is sprayed over the crops uniformly as if in rainfall is. So, there are two types of irrigation methods are there spray irrigation, the second one is the drip irrigation right so if you see the question here water is sprayed over the water is sprayed over like a rainfall that is called which kind of irrigation whether it is a drip irrigation to well irrigation spray irrigation or the canal irrigation so the right answer is c that is spray irrigation so c you have to write here spray irrigation okay children spray irrigation the whole answer you have to write next question Sixth one, food from animal source among the following is. As you know that we get the food from two sources. One is plant source and another is from the animal source. So which source of, uh, I mean which source of food it is. I mean, uh, sorry, which animal source here you have to find. Leaf, green leafy vegetables, ghee, tur dal or the paddy. So green leafy vegetables, tur dal and the paddy, these are the plant sources. While the ghee is a animal source. So we'll write here B, that is the he okay that is the animal source right okay now let's move to the seventh one nowadays growing of millets in agriculture is encouraged so nowadays there is an increasing in the growing of millets okay there is an increasing the growing of millets so what will be the wrong statement related to millets is you have to find out if you see first one need more fertilizers and insecticides no it do not need more fertilizers these crops consume less water yes 
contain more nutrients yes these can be grown in all climatic conditions yes of course yes so which will be the right answer here a is the right answer because you have to find the wrong statement so we we'll write a and here you have to write the full sentence need more fertilizers and insecticides got it now come to the eighth question a doctor infers that a child has a less immunity the food material advised by the doctor to increase immunity of the child are okay so the child is having less immunity so the doctor will advise to have some food which is which should help in the increasing the immunity which kind of food it is that is whether it is a monocotyledon seed dicotyledon seed fruits and vegetables oil ghee and butter so which will be the right answer yes so the c is the right answer so is c is the right answer so you have to write like this the fruits and vegetables got it children okay now let's move to the ninth question if you see the ninth question here in take of fried food must be avoided so you should always avoid but having the most of the oily or fried foods because it contains which kind of nutrient it is very easy see here it whether it is contain lipid vitamins carbohydrates or the minerals of course it is contain the lipid that is a option is right that is also called as what fats right yes next question number 10 the feature experience when you touch an eraser and a piece of wood are if you touch a piece of wood uh, eraser then a piece of wood what will the experience you gain first question if you see a rubber is soft and the piece of wood is hard first we are talking about eraser then we have to go for the wood this is also very much important so rubber is soft and the piece of wood is hard yes next rubber is hard and the piece of wood is soft no this is wrong both rubber and piece of wood are soft no both rubber and piece of wood are hard no so which is the right answer the first one rubber is soft and a piece of wood is hard so here you have to write a that is rubber is soft okay so this whole sentence you have to write, uh, write like this children okay now let's move to the 11th question here the statement which is not related to properties of matter is so the statement which is not related to the properties of matter is okay so the properties are there there, there are properties of matter it should not be related that you have to find okay i mean you have to find the wrong one it occupies the space yes is it uh, it has volume yes it has mass yes made up of large particles no they are made up, made up of very small particles right so which is the right answer here the d is the right answer so we'll write d here and the whole answer should be written here i mean the whole sentence should be written here like this okay now let's move to the 12th one question water is filled to a particular height in a beaker and freezed to form ice the correct statement related to this is so the water is filled in a particular height in a beaker and it has been kept in the freezer to freeze to i to freeze to form ice to become ice so what will be the correct statement here ice from the ice formed in the beaker is as same as particular height the second one okay so this will be the correct answer ice form in the beaker is more than the particular height no ice form in the beaker is less no beaker will be broken no so which is the right answer so this one if you are keep it suppose this is the bo bottle we have taken if you are kept the water in this much so what about the ice can will get the same amount of ice right it will it will not be reduced not become more so which is the right answer so first one is the right answer so here a so ice form this is whole sentence you have to write children this whole sentence you have to write okay got it now let's move to the next question that is question number 13 here it is there there are four beakers of same size here you can see these beakers are filled with marbles as shown in the figure a b c d water is poured into these beaker to equal heights the beaker which stores the more water is okay hope you get the question children there are four same size of beakers are there if all these beakers are filled with the marbles in the this way in the first one it is contain one marble two marble three marble and the four marble then you have to find out the the height i mean the beaker which stores the more water if you see here it consume a less space means the more water will be there here right if you see as compared to a1 it is having the two marbles so the water content will be little bit less as compared to a if you see these are contain three marbles so here will be the water content will be less as compared to this one because it is contain three marble okay that space is uh, occupied by this 
again one more mar marble here there are four marbles are there so here the space is occupied by the marble so here it is contained less water as compared to this one so which is the right answer a is the right answer because it is contained only one marble because the space is very less so that contain the more water right so we'll write here a and you have to draw this beaker children like this got it okay now let's move to the 14th question with reference to states of matter there are three states of matter the odd one out among which is the odd one out stone milk stone soil milk tree if you see the stone which state of matter it is it is the solid soil is a solid and milk is a liquid and tree is a solid so which is the odd one here of course the milk so where is the milk here answer so here is the milk so d is the right answer that is the milk because it is the liquid right now 15th question water droplets can be seen on the outer wall of the cup containing ice then the reason for this if you keep suppose this one cup is there it is contain the ice if you observe this outer walls of the cup if you observe this wall here so what we'll get here we'll get the water droplets right so what would the reason for this the first one here water vapors in the air are cooled and deposited on the outer walls yes so when it comes in contact with the air so there is a um, changes in the temperature so that's why the water vapors in the air are cooled and deposited on the outer walls because here the temperature is very low and here the temperature is high so it comes in contact with the uh, this one from the lower temperature higher temperature it will be accumulated i mean it will be deposited on the walls of the beaker next water in the cup comes out cools down and deposit no it will comes out comes down no no this is very wrong next ice in the cup attracts the water is it attack the water no it is not a magnet right yes so the cup has pores in it is it the cup have the pores pores means the holes is it have the holes no so which is the right answer first one is the right answer so here we will write a and the whole sentence should be written here children water vapors like this in the big in the air are cool and deposited on the outer wall so this should be the whole sentence should be written here got it okay now let's move to the question number 16 here in the map of india karnataka is located in this direction so children the india map it is very most important even the karnataka india map is very much important you should know where the uh, uh, i mean the particular place is present okay the state is present that is very much important so in the map of india karnataka what is the location of karnataka whether it is a, there are four directions are which are those north south east and west right so where it is present wherever karnataka is found in the india map it is found in the south right so here this is north south east and the west so here we will find our karnataka so where is the answer the south we will write here b and south okay so this is the right answer now question number 17 neighbor neighboring state of karnataka which has more marathi speaking people is so marathi so in in this state the people will speak the marathi in maharashtra right so in tamil nadu no goa no telangana no so in the maharashtra so we'll write here d that is maharashtra maharashtra okay maharashtra okay okay i'll write it once again here d that is maha rashtra okay so you have to write it neatly children so next one question number 18 if you see these are the group of neighboring countries of india if you see the map which are the neighboring countries of india that you have to write whether it is a sri lanka china pakistan mm, yes maybe let's see the next options america china sri lanka no america is not. burma bangladesh canada no nepal pakistan japan no so which is the right answer the first one sri lanka china and the pakistan are the neighboring countries of india so we'll write here option a okay we'll write here option a that is sri lanka then china and the third one that is pakistan okay so this you have to write here got it now come to the question number 19 this water body is located to the west part of india if you see the map so this i mean you have to see now which part water body is located on the west part so as we told you now north so north south east and the west so this in the west part which uh, uh, this one will be water body will present children tell me the answer first yes it is arabian sea right arabian sea is present it is located on the west part of the india so we'll write here b that is arabian sea is present here right yes so next 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज देर हियर ओके दिस यूनियन टेरिटरी इज नॉट डायरेक्टली रूल्ड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट सो विच टेरिटरी इज नॉट डायरेक्टली रूल्ड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हियर इज लद्दाख इस इट इज अ लद्दाख नो अंडमान निकोबार नो दिल्ली हाँ हाँ यस दिल्ली इज अ राइट आंसर दिल्ली इज राइट आंसर ओके सो दिल्ली यस देन लक्षदीप नो सो दिस यूनियन टेरिटरी इज नॉट डायरेक्टली रूल्ड नॉट डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली रूल्ड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दैट इज अ दिल्ली ओके सो विल राइट हियर सी दैट इज दिल्ली दिल्ली इज अ राइट आंसर गॉट इट चिल्ड्रन यस so children in the i mean today in this class we have solved the question number 1 to 28 that is your mcq so in the next class we are going to start with the second main okay so till then take care of yourself be with me uh, if you think this video is really useful to you then don't forget to like share with your friends and do subscribe my channel bye bye